हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विजरा डियर चैनल एंड ऑन दिस चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए ब्रॉडकास्ट रिगार्डिंग द एक्टिविटीज दिस टीचर वीरेंद्रा डी आर हैज डन फॉर यू एंड ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर कमिंग फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश सो इन देशन ऑफ नियर अबाउट वन एंड हाफ आवर्स वॉट आर द टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो आई रिक्वेस्ट मैडम पूजा टू रियली टेक द वीडियोग्राफ Dear friends, in this lecture, my whole intention was to stimulate your intelligence and let you know that you yourself are the maker of yourself. You yourself are the maker of yourself. By virtue of the thought, you choose and encourage. Thought in the mind has made you. If your thoughts are negative, you will become very negative. If your thoughts are positive. You will become very positive. So, what I request you: always follow the path of truth, justice, peace, love, non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, cooperation. Have very courageous mind and very hardworking, persevering hands. Then only you can be very successful as a paramedic or as a EMT. You have to also always do justice. You have to be non-violent. You have to be always truthful. You have to be very pure. You have never to be corrupt. You have never to stealing anything. What you are going to get to serve the patients, and you will have absolute control on your senses. You have to maintain absolute commitment and dedication to your task. Then you will be really a true EMT. This I have taught you in detail. I am summarizing this. Then I have also told you that purify your mind. Your thought. Word and action have to be very pure, because purity of mind can only give you happiness and success in life. Then it will be contented, because once you are working at EMT, you are not going to get some millions of dollars. You are going to get whatever best is possible from the management. So you have to be contented, but you have not to compromise on your service. You have to have a passion to serve the life with whole heartedness, commitment, dedication. Will power you will do your justice to your full ability and capability and possibility? That we are generating in. Our hundreds of teachers, motivators are telling you: learn the skill properly, become the master of your skill, and then do justice to your profession, to your duty and responsibility. Dear friends, these are things I have covered. Next, I have taught you that as a leader, you have to respect your team, you have to cooperate and coordinate with your team. And you have to take the challenges very bravely, without being timid and coward. Because once you are going to the accident sites, you are facing a lot of challenges. So you have to see the scene is safe. Then I will line and line as you will go there, take the patient in your ambulance and do the proper treatment, what are necessary to keep the patient breathing and live. You will go and put that patient in the appropriate hospital. So for this, you have to be very courageous and bold. So you have to learn exactly how to plan. You have to learn exactly how to make the decisions, and you must have sympathy and understanding and empathy for the patient. You feel that this is the member of your family. This patient is not somebody outside. Of course, you found that patient on the streets by accident or so many other calamities, but you have to treat as one of the member of your family. Means feelings, same empathy, same sympathy, same compassion. Same generosity as you will have one of the members of your family. I have taught you. It is very, very important, dear friends. Then I have also to taught you that you have to learn quality management. Quality management, I told you, you have to give full measure of your devotion and passion, best quality of service, best quantity of service, and your attitude should be what? What mental attitude should be that you are giving with love and affection? With kind and compassion, you are not doing any mercy and sympathy, and your tongue should be very kind. When you talk to the patient, talk pleasantly, melodiously. Your one word can give a lot of hope to the patients. You have not to be harsh to the patients. Friends, I have also covered anatomy of your body because all I have taught you in English, but I have tried to taught you in Hindi. I have told you your body is made of so many systems. The first is your skeleton. The structure system. Another, I have taught you cardiovascular system. 
your heart is really the cardiovascular system which is pumping the blood with full nutrition oxygen and the nutrition to the every cells tissue that organs your body then i have to tell you exactly the muscular system muscles you see the muscles they are really giving power i taught you in hindi but i am talking in english you understand i taught you in hindi but i am telling you in english because so many english people will learn learn on english muscular system okay but i taught you in hindi i don't like to repeat in hindi again muscular system cardiovascular system skeletal system endocrine system nervous system lymphatic system respiratory system digestive system renal system kidney system and reproductive system and so on so forth maine ye sab aapko hindi mein bataya aapke dhaanche ke liye aapko bone system ki zarurat hai aapke muscles ki zarurat hai jisse ki aap is bone ka istemal karenge और आपको जरूरत है पूरे शरीर में रक्त संचालन के लिए जिसके लिए आपको जो दिल है उसकी आवश्यकता है और उसके बाद आपको नर्वस सिस्टम जो कभी क्रेन देखा होगा आपने क्रेन में कैसे होता है हाइड्रोलिक्स और देखते तो जिधर घुमाता है उधर घूमता है इसी तरह से जो नर्वस सिस्टम है उसको ब्रेन कंट्रोल करता है और आपके हाथ पाँव मुंह जबान सब चलते हैं उसको नर्वस सिस्टम बोलते हैं इसके बाद इंडोक्रीन इंडोक्रीन सिस्टम से सारे हमारे जो सिस्टम है उसको भी कुछ न कुछ मिलता ही रहता है ग्लैंड सके छोटे उसे ग्लैंड से ही हमारा सारा क्रियाक्रम होता है लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम जब आप बीमार हो जाते हैं तो लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम के आधार पर वहां आपका व्हाइट डंगूसी व्हाइट ब्लड कॉस्टिपल जाके उसको नेचुरली क्योर करता है समझ आ गया आपको इसके बाद आपका होता है रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम प्रशासन क्रिया दो लंग्स है ना इधर और इधर दो तरफ राइट और लेफ्ट वो लंग्स से आप क्या करते हैं ऑक्सीजन लेते हैं बॉडी में सप्लाई करते हैं कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टॉक्सिक गैसेज बाहर छोड़ते हैं अब इसके बाद होता है आपका डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम फिर से दोहरा दे रहा हूँ हिंदी में क्योंकि डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऐसा सिस्टम है जिससे आपके बॉडी को ऊर्जा मिलती है तो मेडिकल चैप्टर भी पढ़ाना शुरू कर दिया हमारे गुरुदेव का आशीर्वाद है कि हमारे जो हिंदी भाषी है उनको हिंदी में पूरे जो मेडिकल है पढ़ाओ पढ़ाऊंगा बेहतर पढ़ाऊंगा किसी से कम नहीं होगा विश्वास है हो हो मन में है विश्वास पूरा है विश्वास हम होंगे कामयाब प्यारे दोस्तों सो एंड सो फोर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर अटेंडिंग क्लास